Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Flow triggers and actions. So why do we care about triggers and actions? Well, they are the fundamental blocks of any workflow that you build in Flow. It's the trigger that initiates the flow in the first place. And then the action is the activity that follows it. So let me illustrate that point by showing you a simple flow template. So I'm going to look for one here called reminders. And there's one here that says get daily reminders by email. And you can see it's really simple flow, two apps involved, this reminder app and then the email. So if I click on, it's going to take me through, it's going to connect me. And now here's my flow. And you can see there's two blocks on the canvas here on the designer. One is the trigger and one is the action. So the trigger is an interval per day, week, month, hour, and so on. And then the action is the sending of the email to a certain recipient with subject and body. Here's another example. Send an email when a new item is created in SharePoint. You can see there's SharePoint and Outlook in this flow. When I click on it, you can see SharePoint is the trigger, it's on the left. So when an item gets uploaded or created in a SharePoint list, it will send an email to Outlook.com, which is the action. So trigger and action working together. So here's another quick example. This time, the trigger is forms. So the creation of a new form triggers the workflow, and it then has two actions in forms and SharePoint. So there's two apps on the right hand side now. And when I hit continue, you'll see on the design page, we have the trigger at the top, which is forms. And then beneath we have forms and SharePoint. Now, at any point we can add new triggers and actions, or we can change the triggers and actions in the design page. So from here, for example, I can add a new action and that will then give me a list of all the apps that have actions. So for example, OneDrive for business. And then I can see in a list, all the actions that are available to me. I can also filter that list by keywords and stuff like that. You'll notice that there's a triggers tab on this dialog as well. So I can always be switching between actions and triggers and I can filter actions and triggers by keywords as well. Triggers and actions are two of the most important things that you need to understand in flow. So I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.